How long does it take to see a response to anti-myeloma therapy? Most regimens work within the first month. Um, so keep in mind if we check myeloma markers, again, those are the markers that are either in the blood or the urine, and we get our baseline, we start treatment for the patient. Most centers check myeloma markers in the middle of the first cycle so they can get the numbers by the end of the cycle. The numbers take about a week to be processed. Um, so the first number in the first month does not represent a full month of treatment. The labs were checked in the middle. So if the first number was not where we want it to be, I tend to give it another month and check in towards the end of the second month. This way I got a month and a half worth of treatment and this is where I, I hope to see a response. Keep in mind, getting a response is not the only goal we have. We have to get a durable response for multiple myeloma. Um, also another point for, for newly diagnosed multiple myeloma, um, knock on wood, we're talking about 99% response rates and I think in first relapse we're getting closer to that as well. So those are good uh, uh, numbers. The question is for how long they will stay like that. Why may it take a month before a response to treatment is detected? So um, it's important to know uh, how to interpret the myeloma markers, right? So let's take one step back. We talked about M-spike, kappa, and lambda. The M-spike um, usually is compo has two components, heavy chain and light chain. And the heavy chain, most commonly, it's IgG or IgA, second common. It could be IgD or IgM as well. Those are heavy proteins that take time to be cleared through the kidneys. We're talking about proteins. We're not talking about cancer cells in the blood here. The chemotherapy will kill the cancer cells, which, will, which means we stop the production of the new immunoglobulins. Well, let's say, for example, it's IgG. We stop the production of a new IgG. The kidneys will take time to clean the IgG that is already in the blood. That doesn't go exactly the same for light chain only myeloma. What's light chain only myeloma? Those are patients who have kappa or lambda in the blood. Again, those are proteins in the blood. Those are not active cells. And those kappa, kappa or lambda, you can't have both. You, uh, each patient have one. So let's say, for example, a patient has kappa light chain. The kappa light chain are easy to clear through the kidneys. So usually when we start the treatment, we can even see the response within a week or two. Um, sometimes you see it within a few days. That, why, why is that? Because we stopped the production of a new light chain and the old ones are easily cleared through the kidneys.